Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we're gonna discuss playing MS-DOS games on an Android device. Now this particular device is a Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 and I'm using the Logitech MX2S Bluetooth mouse. Um, so we're gonna discuss hardware I'm using, but if you'd like to, you've got, let's say, a wired mouse, um, you can always plug it into your Android device as long as it supports on the go um, or OTG. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to connect a wired mouse. Well, it is a wireless mouse as well, but you can charge it um, and use it wired as well. So this is what I'm going to use as an example. So type C to USB type A adapter, and then you just plug it into the type C port and voila, you've got a wired mouse. If you want to use the wired mouse or with your um, MS-DOS games, but like I said, Bluetooth works as good um, as the wired mouses as well. So let's go back to the MX2 um, Bluetooth mouse. Okay, so that's that. And then if you want to use a keyboard with your DOS games, um, you can use, again, either wireless or a wired keyboard. I'm using Zaki Scover, which unfortunately isn't manufactured anymore, um, but it is a box standard Bluetooth keyboard. So we're going to start with the DOS games first. So whichever way you get your DOS games, um, just make sure that they are extracted um, in any folder on your Android phone. So these games, for example, XCOM and Syndicate, I've got from... Um, GOG or goodoldgames.com, gog.com. And as you can see, this is just the DOS version of the game. It's not modified in any shape or form. It is a plain DOS um, a folder. And then for the actual um, uh, the DOS gaming, we're going to use Magic DOS Box. So there are two versions. There's a free version and there's a paid version. Um, I would recommend using the paid version because it allows you to play more than one game at a time. So this is the actual setup. So you can set it to private or public. I set it to private. Um, and then you can choose the theme as well if you'd like to. Just the box standard theme. Now, using the private, it prevents the files from being cleaned uh, via system cleaners and stuff like that. So... How to add a game. We're pressing the plus, bu plus button. Then we are adding the title of the game. So you can type whatever you'd like. It's just for yourself to know what you're using. Then we can adjust the CPU, the memory, how much RAM you'd like to add into the game and so on. And then the performance as well. Now, in terms of cycles, usually leave it at um, automatic. However, some games like, for example, Comanche 1 and 2, uh, require, for example, one or two cycles, to be cycles to be set to one or two. Then we can choose audio as well. You can use a PC speaker or a sound blaster, whichever you prefer. Then if you'd like to, you can add CD-ROM as well. So you can use a CD-ROM as in like, um, you can set it as a different letter or you can actually use a physical CD-ROM. Again, just use the USB Type-C to USB Type-A and then, uh, type -A and then um, you can use a USB CD-ROM, which you can get from Amazon for like 10 quid or something. Um, I think that's how much I paid. And then we're going to look for the X files, uh, EXE files. So not the X files. <laughs> um, so one for your game and one for the setup itself. Um, so for UFO, uh, these are the files that we've got extracted on our phone. So on our phone, I've got it in the download folder. I've got a UFO um folder and i'm gonna choose this for the executable file and the other one for the setup which is setup.exe if you'd like to you can add some additional dos commands and that's pretty much it if you press and hold the button you can edit the shortcut to your liking so for example you can do desktop shortcut so it will show a shortcut on the home screen of your android device um, or you can edit the, if you think you've made a mistake, you can ed edit your shortcut within the Magic DOS box. So as you can see, we've got two mouse cursors. 
Um, so there is a way of fixing that. You have to press and hold the back button on your Android device. So it triggers the menu. Then we go to mouse settings and we choose it to absolute um, pointer. And then as you can see, you still got the Android uh, mouse pointer and then the DOS pointer, but they are, um, as you can see, they, 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 they aren't as separate as uh, with the dynamic mouse setup. As you can see, the right click works, the left click works, so it's not like you have to emulate something or whatsoever. It works uh, really well natively in DOS gaming. So if you don't have a keyboard, like I, I do have one, but if you don't have a keyboard, again, press and hold bat button, and then you can choose a keyboard to your liking. Now, UFO or, for example, Dune 2, doesn't require as much keyboard input, um, so you can play it without any keyboards. However, if you're thinking about p playing something like Quake, for example, or Doom, uh, you're better off with a keyboard. Now, because it's a Galaxy Fold, we're going to fold the screen slightly, so we can see a bit more. And yeah, we're going to enjoy UFO, Enemy Unknown. Works really well, as you can see. Okay, that's a bit too much. Obviously, I'm using a mouse, but if you'd like to, you can use your finger as well, uh, because it does obviously recognize touch input. I just prefer the mouse because my fat fingers cover the screen when I use them. Um, so really, I just I'm, I've <laughs> I've used I've been using a I've been using a mouse to play UFO games since the 90s. So I just struggle really with a touch input when I play it um, touch screen. But if you've got a big enough tablet, for example, or even the Fold itself with its 7.6 inch screen isn't that bad. Um, if you've got a big enough tablet, obviously you can use touch input. Um, so you can, for example, tap wi with one finger for left click and tap with two fingers uh, for right click. Then again, like I said, it's already Sackler uh, using a DOS games on Android device, but fortunately I can't afford to use any much more space in my house for a DOS gaming rig, so this is what 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 I have to use. This is the be best I've got. Okay, so that's UFO done. Now we're gonna try with Dune. Okay, for this one we want a bit more nostalgia, so we're going to use PC speaker. Um, the same thing. On your Android device, you go to the folder you've got your games extracted to. In my case, again, it is the downloads folder, and then you choose the setup folder, and voila! You just click, and we're in. That's what studios. Unfortunately, as you can see, um, you have to do the mouse thing every single time. Reporting. So it doesn't double up. Yes, sir. Okay, let's move our units around. Building deteriora deteriorating without the small concrete slab. Jeez. The paints in the forest. Did they deteriorate over time or did they just build broken? I think they were like 75% health or something. Interesting. Getting a expensive device to play. Nearly 30 year old games, but it is what it is. I'm over 30 myself. Okay, and now if you want to play something a bit more demanding, like Quake, for example, obviously anything that basically runs in DOS can be played or via Magic DOS Box. 
just going to adjust the brightness of the screen and actually I'm going to open the curtains at home as well because it is quite dark. Now Quake is a bit of, is, is a dark game. Um, so yeah, let's just adjust that. Now with the keyboard itself, you don't have an escape button. Um, so you can either map it within Magic DOS box um, or you can just, I'll show you in a second, press and hold on the back button, which then triggers the keyboard, on-screen key, on screen keyboard, which then allows you to press escape button. Okay, strafing. Yep. Everything works pretty well. Again, this is the GOG GOG, good old games version of the game. Um, because usually they give you the DOS uh, version of any title, obviously being good gold games. So it's the safest way. Obviously there are other ways of obtaining games, um, but I just prefer to buy them and keep them because obviously um, it's not cheap to acquire a license for a game, so I just prefer to give my money to the people that bring good old games to the playable state but yeah that's pretty much it so yeah thanks for watching another episode of quick expert reviews and i'll speak to you soon guys bye <laughs>